Hello and welcome back to Classic Times. Today I'll be going through stage 32 of the Cambridge Latin course and I'll be covering the topics of deponent verbs, more about gerundives and future participles. Okay, let's begin. Deponent verbs. So deponent verbs look like passive verbs. For example, Quintus metellam in foro conspicatur. And secondly, tum quintus templum lowis ingressus est. However, when they're translated into English, they have an active meaning. So the sentences we just looked at would be translated as Quintus catches sight of Metella in the forum and then Quintus entered the temple of Jupiter. And as we're about to find out, deponent verbs form their endings exactly like the passive. So how do they form their endings? Well, as I've already mentioned, deponent verbs form their endings exactly like passives. As you can see from these two examples of common deponent verbs. And if you'd like to watch a video to brush up on your present and imperfect passive verb endings, then tap the top right for my video on stage 29, which covers just that. And if you feel a bit patchy on perfect and pluperfect passive verbs, then tap the top right now for my video on stage 30. Anyway, on with the video. And finally, on the topic of deponent verbs, are perfect active participles, which we had a look at in stage 22. So perfect active participles are formed from deponent verbs, and you'll see on screen now a list of the PAPs, and you may wish to pause the video to have a quick look. And just to consolidate this topic, I'd like to just remind you that deponent verbs are passive in form, but active in meaning. Moving on, let's have a look at gerundives and gerunds. So both gerunds and gerundives have the letters ND in them, and are often translated in English by must, ought, or should. And a few examples include parandum, ordiendum, docendum, and currendum, which all include the letters ND. So a gerund construction is made up of a dative noun plus the gerund plus a verb to be. And similarly, a gerundive construction is formed with a noun plus the gerundiv and again, plus the verb to be. And a final couple of tips. Gerundives are adjectives and must agree in number, case and gender with the noun that they go with. And secondly, gerundives of obligation. So the noun by which the action is being done is put into the dative case. And don't worry, We'll have a look at a few examples of these later in the video, so you'll find out how to translate them then. But if you'd like to revise dative nouns, then tap in the top right corner for my video on stage 9, which covers the dative case. So finally, before we move on to the vocab, let's have a look at future participles. So in Latin, future participle is formed with a PPP, perfect passive participle, that's the stem, plus the personal endings, which are eurus, but the letters change depending on the gender of the noun. And future participles are adjectives, which must agree in number, case and gender with the nouns that they go with. So as I've already mentioned, the endings change depending on the gender of the noun. So, eurus for a masculine noun, 
Eura for a feminine noun, and Eurum for a neuter noun. And future participles are translated with about to or going to. And finally, look at this table comparing PPPs with future participles. And I've highlighted the endings of future participles in bold. And if you'd like to watch my video on perfect passive participles, tap in the top right for my video covering stage 21. Anyway, that's enough plugging for now. On with the vocab. Adversus, hostile. Res adversi, misfortune. Iquus, fair or calm. Componere, to arrange. Conatus, having tried. Convertere, to turn. Effundere, to pour out. Ignoscere, to forgive. Labor, work or labor. Libertas, freedom. Mensa, is a table. Nequidem, not even. Neck, this means and not or nor. Neck, neck, neither nor. Oprimere, to crush. Otiosus, on holiday or idle. Pauper, poor. Perfectus, having set out. Quidam, one or a certain. Secutus, having followed. Subveniri, to help. Okay, now let's have a look at a few examples of deponent verbs. Prica tandem locutus est. At last, the herald spoke. Clientes pecuniam raperi conabantur. The clients were trying to grab the money. Spectatores de arcu nowo loquebantur. The spectators were speaking about the new arch. And you'll notice with all of these deponent verbs that they are formed exactly like the passive, however, they have active meanings. Now let's have a look at a few examples of gerundive and gerund constructions. Mihi corendum est, I must run, or literally, the necessity for running is for me. But this sounds really clunky, so you should translate it more literally with I must run. Tibi festinandum est, you must run. Servo ad forum amphora portanda erat. The slave should have carried the amphora to the forum. So the first couple of sentences are gerund constructions, which include a dative noun, so mihi and tibi, and the last sentence is a gerundive construction. And finally, Let's have a look at few examples of future participles. Spectatores in animo volvibant quid euphrosine dictura esset. The spectators were wondering what euphrosine was going to say. Ego quintum ad teatrum festinaturum in veni. I found Quintus about to hurry to the theatre. Magister discipulos docturus erat. The teacher was going to teach the pupils. And you'll notice that all of these sentences include either about to or going to in the English translation to denote a future. Okay, so I know we've covered a lot today, but I'd now like you to have a go 
at the following sentences. Give it your best shot. I know they're tricky. Pause the video and have a go at these. Now let's go through the answers. Mihi pueri dokendi sunt. I must teach the boys. Imperator nuntios ad Britanniam misurus est. The emperor is about to send messengers to Britain. Sacerdos e templo e grediebatur. The priests were going out of the temple. Kiribus ex urbe effugiendum erat. The citizens had to escape from the city. Captivus effugere conatus est. The captive tried to escape. So if you manage to achieve full marks, 5 out of 5, then I'm really impressed. That is an excellent score. You are a future star. If you manage to achieve 3 or 4 out of 5, that is still highly commendable. You are an active legend. If you only manage to achieve 1 or 2 out of 5, then still keep going. You must strive to do better. But well done. Sorry about the puns. Couldn't help myself. Okay, so in this video, because we've had a lot of topics to cover, we haven't quite got time to go through a whole passage. But hopefully, this video has been useful and has clarified stage 32. So anyway, let's summarise. Deponent verbs. So these are passive in form, but active in meaning. And an example is conspicator, meaning catches sight of. A gerund construction is made up of a dative noun, plus a gerund, plus a verb to be. And a gerundive construction is formed with a noun, plus a gerundive, plus the verb to be. And gerundives include the letters ND in the middle of them. And finally, future participles. These are formed with the stem from a perfect passive participle, plus the endings eurus, eura, or eurum, depending on the gender of the noun. And they're translated with about to or going to. So thanks a lot for tuning in and join me in my next video where I'll be covering stage 33 of the Cambridge Latin course.